Good day and welcome to your Uncle Alert Weekly Roundup. We start off this broadcast with a huge shout out to ESMO, a wonderful ESMO 20 with great studies, even five concomitant publications, three coming from the New England. Thank you all for making this meeting a success and for moving the field forward. The ABC Global Alliance Fifth International Consensus Guidelines for Advanced Breast Cancer are now available to download at Annals of Oncology. Also at Annals, ESMO Guidelines for Fertility Preservation and Post-Treatment Pregnancies in post pubertal Cancer Patients is out. A big round of congratulations to our Uncle Alert colleague, Matteo Lambertini and team. Out on clinical cancer research, prognostic model based on PAM50 plus clinical variables, PAM50 med is prognostic in hormone receptor positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer. Review on genomic signatures in young women with breast cancer sees that it's safe to omit chemotherapy in low risk population and age itself is not an indicator for more aggressive treatment. Out on Cancer Medicine, article on the healthcare-related time cost in patients with metastatic breast cancer sees that these patients spend 7 to 10 percent of their time traveling to, waiting for, and receiving cancer care instead of being with loved ones. As oncology professionals, we need to find ways to reduce this. The Nadine trial supports the addition of neoadjuvant nivolumab to platinum-based chemotherapy in resectable stage 3A non-small cell lung cancer, showing neoadjuvant chemoimmunotherapies could change perception from potentially lethal to potentially curable. Out on JNCI, the impact of COVID-19 on clinical trial execution at Dana-Farber. Lessons learned on adapting clinical trials in oncology during COVID. Out on Nature Cancer, determinants of the outcomes of patients with cancer infected with COVID, a Gustafer C. cohort. Mask recommendations are out on the management of immune-related adverse events of patients undergoing treatment. A lot of great awareness for World Cancer Research Day. This worldwide commitment is needed as cancer deaths are expected to increase 71% by 2040. We must come together to prevent this. Amazing to see our colleagues worldwide embracing this call to arms. Introducing the Oncolert Colloquium, this two-day event will include 10 hours of practice-changing oncology findings in 2020 for each tumor type being taught by an amazing Oncolert faculty. As with everything, we don't do things alone. We have great collaborators and very glad to announce that eCancer is one of our collaborators in this annual colloquium. (laughs) 